Before using a Category B package, consult the manufacturer's instructions and follow the steps as dictated. Failure to follow the manufacturer's instructions will result in a non-compliant package and will be subject to rejection and fines. Make sure the primary container you would like to use has been certified to be placed in the package and make sure that you stay within the limits described within the instructions. This information must be stated in the instructions for use provided by the manufacturer. Ensure that the primary container is leak-proof. Since the package may be subjected to vibrations during transport, it is recommended that the closures of primary receptacles containing liquids are secured with tape or other positive means. If you are shipping multiple primary containers, make sure that fragile containers are separated. Place all primary containers, sufficient absorbent, and cushioning inside the secondary packaging. If any of the primary containers exceeds 50 milliliters, the closure of the primary container must be oriented with the orientation arrows on the outer packaging. Don't forget to fill out and include the itemized list of contents and place it between the secondary packaging and the outer packaging. Place the secondary packaging inside of the inner box. Place the inner box in the recessed area of the insulated chest. Place the desired quantity of dry ice around the inner box. Replace the lid on the insulated chest. Close the outer packaging. Never put dry ice inside the sealed secondary packaging. When dry ice sublimates, it will build up pressure that may cause a sealed secondary packaging to explode. 